Hi, this is Ron Roland from Money Markets TV. Economic growth around the world is slowing. Europe's sovereign debt problems aren't going away, and another global financial crisis may be coming. With all this uncertainty, investors are looking for safe havens in the asset markets. A lot of people think gold is a good place to hide, and I happen to agree with them. Subscribers to my international ETF trader service bagged some nice profits on a gold-based ETF earlier this year, and they've been holding another one since last summer. Today, I want to review some ways you can get exposure to gold through exchange-traded funds. The two biggest gold-based ETFs are the Spider Gold Trust and the iShares Gold Trust. GLD is the most popular option by far, with assets of around $65 billion versus about $9 billion for IAU. Both funds are backed by physical gold stored in a secure vault. But there's a key difference between the two ETFs. Each share of GLD represents one tenth of an ounce of gold, while each IAU share is worth one one hundredth of an ounce. So if gold is trading at $1,600 an ounce, you'll see GLD trading at around 160 and IAU at around $16 per share. So, if you're trading in smaller amounts or want to keep tighter control on exactly how much gold is in your portfolio, you might favor IAU. One question I sometimes hear about these physical gold-backed ETFs is whether the gold is really there. Sure, the fund sponsors say they have X amount of gold stored in a vault somewhere, but do they really? Some conspiracy theorists would have you believe they don't but I think it's a pretty safe bet. However, it is prudent to pay attention to exactly where the gold is kept because governments have been known to seize assets. GLD and IAU mostly use vaults in New York, London, and Toronto, but a couple of the newer ETFs offer a way to diversify your gold holdings geographically. ETFs physically Swiss gold shares holds its gold in Switzerland, while ETFS Physical Asian Gold Shares stores its gold in Singapore. I personally don't see much need for these funds, but they're available if this feature is important to you. Finally, I want to mention Sprott Physical Gold Trust, ticker symbol PHYS. This one is actually not an ETF, but a closed-end fund. It lacks the mechanism that keeps the other gold-based funds in line with the world gold price, so it can trade at significant premium or discount to the gold's actual value. Of course, that may be a good thing or a bad thing. With all these options, investing in gold has never been easier or more convenient. Just remember to consider your options carefully if you want to allocate part of your portfolio to precious metals. I'm Ron Rowland for Money and Markets TV. Thank you for watching.